I got the paint out of my hair. I did that for you because I don't really care. Hello everyone, I'm the Magic Llama of the Magic Llama Mood and I have wonderful news. I have a new foster kitty. Her name is Lily. I am madly in love with her. She is black and white, looks like a little cow, and is quite chonky. She is the loveliest little cat ever. I am working with the AAPA, which is the American Alliance for the Protection of Animals, long title but they do amazing, amazing work. Definitely look them up. I'll put their links in the description down below. For those of you that maybe didn't see my older videos, I fostered a cat named George uh, with the Brooklyn Animal Action Group. He was a foster success and I had this huge journey where I toted him to Nashville and he ended up living with one of my friends from high school, which is kind of crazy. George update, he's doing really well. He is really, really loving Kat and warming up to her more and more every day. She got him this huge, like six foot tall cat tree. He's totally spoiled and loving it. Reeling it back to Lily. Lily is a lovely little kitty. She is very agoraphobic. She's scared of open spaces, which is interesting because I am not a clutter person. I love stuff and I love schlock and knickknacks, but all of my stuff is extremely organized. And so it's not cluttered per se, just aesthetic. Lily's initial reaction when she came into my apartment was to hide behind my toilet. And like the little, there's like a, a crook in the toilet or not like in behind, <laughs> I tried. She was very, very nervous, really frightened, and was meowing a ton in her carrier on her way into the building. Stan from the AAPA and I did a contactless cat delivery situation. We, you know, we were wearing masks, it was very safe. I'm excited to be working with the AAPA. I'm hoping that I get to do some other kind of collaborative projects with them and teach people about the protection of animals and what cat fostering is like and that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, comment down below. I'd love to continue that relationship. The AAPA does amazing work. So it took a while for Lily to get used to me. What I did is a very Helena thing. I turned the lights on in the bathroom and I sat next to her and played Animal Crossing for like three hours. And in my brain, it was a way to be like, I'm here, I'm just next to you, I'm not bothering you, but I'm here and I'm talking to other animal friends, but on my Switch. And so after a while, she did warm up and kind of meow, and I was able to give her some pets, and she would kind of come out from behind the toilet and then she ran right into my bathroom cabinet. Not like ran into it, but ran inside of it. And she knocked over all of my hair products and just sat on some towels. So another two hours passed of me playing Animal Crossing and I'm always happy to play Animal Crossing. So like, it's whatever. And I read somewhere that cats enjoy when people are just like sitting with them and just chilling with them. I don't know if that's real or if I completely made that up. Maybe I want that to be real. I want to be needed, okay? Eventually I coaxed her out of the bathroom with help from my partner Smogles. She loves Smogles and I had a bit of cat mom jealousy about it and we're not gonna go into that today, but we coaxed her out of the bathroom slowly but surely. We ended up closing the bathroom door because we wanted to encourage her to explore the home. She made a beeline pretty quickly to my bedroom and then stayed under my bed for another few hours. We were able to coax her out by, you know, doing like, pss, pss, and come here, Lily, hi. But I'm on the first floor of my apartment building and the mailboxes are right outside. So there's some clanging to be had. There's also an elevator that dings every once in a while. And Lily was really, really sensitive to the sounds around her. She was really freaked out. And so she hid under my bed. I, I didn't know anything about her past living situation at this point. So it made sense when I found out that she was possibly in a hoarder's home. Oh, Hi, Lily. It's nice and safe. Yeah. A very, very cluttered space, and my house is not very cluttered at all. I'm very type A. But it made sense that she was hiding under things and preferring the more cluttered parts of my home, aka under my bed and under my bathroom sink. Listen, we all have a junk drawer. Don't think you're better than me. 
In the past couple of days, she slowly but surely started warming up to me and even more to Sam. And she now knows that we are cat lovers in this home and she can come up and meow at us until we pet her. She loves pets. She does the funny little flop over thing. She started sleeping with me in my bed, which is like so good. She's a little princess. She knows when to ask for her space. She likes to spend most of the daytime under my bed, snoozing and napping. And then in the evening, she'll come out and interact with us a little more and cozy up next to us while we're, I don't know, watching Bob's Burgers or something. We've been watching a lot of Bob's Burgers. Like George, I made Lily a little house and it's very, very cute. I was inspired by her name, Lily, which is the most beautiful name for a little princess cow cat like she is. And I did a version, shouldn't even call it a version, a mock version and an attempt <laughs> at doing some of Monet's water lilies on a little box. Now I tried to make this box a little more enclosed than the one that I made for George. If you don't remember what it looks like, I'll put the video link down below and you can go check it out and remind yourself because it was so cute but I made hers a little more enclosed because it does seem like that uh, she enjoys dark enclosed spaces. So hopefully she enjoys it. I'm gonna try and coax her out from under the bed to see if she likes it, but I can't make any promises at this point. If any of you are interested in possibly adopting this sweet little lady, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to get her adopted. She's a wonderful cat. She's already started kind of shadowing me around the house, usually in the evening when she's done having her alone time. For more hashtag hot content like this, give this video a like, give it a subscribe, ring that bell button so you receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Very helpful to me, very helpful to you, because I know you keep forgetting dates and things like that. You gotta stop, get yourself a nice calendar. Mine's Lisa Frank, it's very nice. You can follow me at the Magic Llama Mood on Instagram and TikTok. Instagram's where I post updates about new videos, etc. Uh, and TikTok is for my weeb sh So if you like that, <laughs> you can follow me there. I hope wherever you are, you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video on Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. See ya. I'm making a video about you. Do you have anything to say to the people? Do you have anything to say? How many tangents can I go on in this video? Stay tuned to find out.